What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joe King John City 4 and today people, we're gonna keep on talking about Call of Duty World War 2. But before we get into that main topic guys, I wanna say thank you, thank you very much for watching my videos and also liking my videos because, you know, this gonna show me that you guys really, really show some support on this channel and, you know, pretty much have a lot of hope because I've been here for five years and people keep on coming back and telling me like, hey, how you doing and all that stuff, you know, thank you for stopping by and everything guys and I appreciate that and... I will not stop at any time soon like I'm gonna keep on uploading I enjoy this kind of stuff so uh, thank you YouTube for watching my videos and liking my videos I want more of that so <laughs> anyways moving on to the main topic of today which is about Call of Duty World War 2 HQ mode if you guys have not noticed in the whole live stream uh, when Michael Conjure was talking about Call of Duty World War 2 multiplayer there was like a maybe like around a 15 second clip uh, showing you guys the HQ mode and it's kind of similar to the one in Destiny though, this place, this area where you can socialize with other people online. It's kind of similar to like Destiny because in Destiny there was this place called The Hub. I'm not sure if that's the real name though, I forgot what the name was, the actual name. Because I haven't played Destiny like maybe like in more than a year and a half, so I don't know. But uh, there was this place where you can meet up with other soldiers, right, in Destiny and you can pretty much see all their equipment, see how their progress is and see their weapons and all that stuff. And the problem was in Destiny, there was like no socializing. Like, what the hell? You have this big area where you can meet up a lot of players, but you have no chat. Like, how does that work? So hopefully this doesn't happen in Call of Duty World War II because this HQ area, and it has been described by Michael Condry several times. He's been saying like, this is a new area where you can socialize with other people online and show your accolades, your stats, your weaponry and all that stuff. So it's gonna be for sure a lot better than Destiny. And you can meet up with a bunch of people online on the, all that stuff and pretty much have a chat. Now the biggest problem with this though that I do have is the amount of people that are going to be spamming their freaking loud breathing, I don't know, uh, yelling random obscenities on the mic. It's like it's going to be, oh my god, like it's going to be super bad. I mean the community back in the day was horrible on the mic. I'm glad they have party chat now on the PS4 and the, and the Xbox One, but mostly PS4 because PS4 didn't have party chat on PS3. But like, I'm glad there's party chat now on PS4, so not a lot of people are gonna be socializing. But uh, maybe to, through text or something, that's probably gonna happen. But for those people who don't have any friends, they're gonna be listening to the community chat, and that's gonna be cancerous for for sure. That's gonna be like super bad. That's one of the biggest worries. But it's not like it's gonna mess up the whole game. I'm just saying like this is gonna like once you load up that. HQ mode, you're going to be able to hear people on their loud ass mics. That's what's going to happen. I'm telling you. I'm calling it right now. Another thing that's been going around, guys, are the big rumors that there might be a trading post on HQ, on the HQ mode. Now, if this is going to happen, this means we might be able to customize our characters, like our skins, maybe our helmets, our, our jerseys, or whatever, our shirts, our pants, and however we look like. like that's going to be pretty good. You know, we're going to go back to Advanced Warfare, that means. Because in Advanced Warfare, there was like a lot of cosmetic items. There was like a lot of shoes, a lot of pants, exosuits, uh, hats, uh, gloves. You can change your elbow pads, knee pads, shirt. You know, you can customize your character completely. That's one thing that I miss about Call of Duty, to be honest. Like, I miss customizing my character to look unique and not look like a freaking robot. Like, Infinite Warfare over there. Like, come on, man. So that's going to be awesome. Like, we're going to be able to customize our character and add a trading post so we can, like, get the whole set. Because if you guys do not know, you have a really, really low percent chance in Advanced Warfare to get the whole set complete. Like, if you were to get a certain amount of gloves, certain, like a certain um, a certain set, you're not going to be able to complete it because you don't have the boots. You don't have this. And so you, it's going to take you like maybe like around 20 supply drops to get even that part like to even get that part like it's 10 supply drops so it's gonna take you quite a while to even get a certain set so now with the trading post for sure this is gonna make it a little bit easier and for sure everybody's gonna be looking like how they want to be looked and um it's gonna be very very revolutionary in the franchise so um that's gonna be a good thing man a lot of good things happening in call of duty world war 2 this hq mode is just really one thing to step it's like one big step forward towards uh making the game a little bit more socialized like socializing like um like overwatch you know everybody wants to talk on the mic because it's an objective based game so if everybody can start talking at least for once in the mic then yeah the game might be a little bit better and less cancerous and 
get people to know each other, you know? So that's pretty cool, man. That's the HQ mode, people. That's all I wanted to talk about right now. What is your opinion about this mode? Do you guys think it's the, the best thing so far added to Call of Duty or it's the worst thing? Leave it in the comment section. So that is it, people. Make sure to subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Call of Duty World War II topics and maybe in the future, Call of Duty World War II gameplay.